Hostinger and Gmail are two powerful tools that when integrated can streamline your email management and boost productivity. In today's tutorial, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your Hostinger email to Gmail, allowing you to access and manage all your emails at one central location. If you have purchased Hostinger web hosting, it comes along with your free emails too. Well, good news, I'll show you how to easily integrate those Hostinger emails into your Gmail. It's all about making your email life simpler and more organized. Stick around and let's get these emails working together. Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Long YouTube channel, I'm Nanda Kishore. If you are tired of switching between different email platforms and want to consolidate your communications, then you are in the right place. Before we dive in, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tutorials. In this channel, I make videos on digital marketing, web design and tech tutorials. Alright, if you are ready, let's get started. Log into your Hostinger account. First thing first, we need to log into your Hostinger account. So once you are logged in, you will see this interface. Navigate to the email section in your Hostinger dashboard. So next, you need to click on this manage button next to your domain. Let's say if you have got multiple domains, then please make sure to check the domain in which you want to create the business email. And once you have decided which one to go for, then click on this manage right next to your preferred domain create a new email account now we are here in the email section it's time to create a brand new business email with hostinger to create a new email just click here create email account and enter the name you want here i'm going to go with info and create a new password right then click on create as you can see your new email has been created successfully Configure apps and devices. Now you need to select an email client you want to set up. We are going to choose Gmail. Select the type of configuration, mobile or desktop. We will go with the desktop. Now we need this information to connect to Gmail. Configure Gmail settings. Open your Gmail account and click on this little gear icon that says settings and Click see all settings, click accounts and import tab. Now here under send mail as and check mail from other accounts. These two we are going to configure now. What happens when you add your business email account here? You will be able to send email from your business email using Gmail. Similarly, if you add your business email here under check mail from other accounts, then you should receive emails to Gmail from your business email. Sounds great. Now we will set this first. Click on add another email address. You'll get this pop-up window. Now here you should provide your business name and your business email. Treat as an alias. Check this and click on next step. Now we need SMTP server details. So go to Ostinger and click this copy icon to copy to clipboard and come back here and paste it. Then enter the port number. Let's go back to Hostinger. It's 465. Come back and choose 465 here. Username is your business email and password is your business email password. Now we have these two options, secured connections using SSL recommended and secured connections using TLS. Let's choose SSL and click on add account. Now you will get a verification email to your business email that you need to verify. So let's log into your business email. To access webmail, go to this link mail.ostinger.com and enter the username and password and click login. As you can see, we have received a verification email from Gmail. So click this link to confirm. So confirmation success. Let's go to Gmail and as you can see, our business email has been added here successfully. But wait, here it's still showing unverified. Okay, let's refresh the page. Yeah, it's verified now. Configure incoming server. Now in the next step, we are going to set up the incoming server. For this, you should click this check mail from other accounts. This lets you receive the mail which you received on your business email will also come to your Gmail inbox as well. Now enter the business email and click next. Import emails from my other account, POP3 and click next. 
here under username you should provide your business email and password obviously now it's asking for pop server details so let's go to hostinger and copy this and come here and paste this and then port number uh, let's check okay it's 995 select 995 some important settings we should do if you see this leave a copy of the retrieved messages on the server make sure you check this to retain a copy of the email on the server always use a secure connection ssl yes check this too label incoming messages basically it will create a folder where all your business email will be stored and don't check this click add account now we have successfully added your business email to incoming server this lets you receive the emails from your business emails to gmail inbox we can click this check mail now to fetch the emails from the server you can see here there is a label also created for your business email you can access all your business emails by going here and there you have it you have successfully connected your hostinger email to your gmail now enjoy the convenience of managing all your emails in one single place if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials if you have any questions or encoder issues please feel free to leave a comment below i'll do my best to assist you thank you for watching see you in my next interesting video